So now that Pride Month has officially begun, how long do you think we've got until the first woke corporate tweet? The factory supports Pride. The factory loves LGBT. The factory is producing rainbow merchandise. Buy the merchandise. Let others know you are proud of your lifestyle with your purchasing decisions. Literally four minutes. Welcome to hell, girls and gays, and it's only going to get worse from here. As a proud trans lesbian and COO of mc and I am living proof that LGBT people can do whatever we set our minds to. Happy Pride to all my trans sisters. mc and are blood-sucking capitalists who keep literal unicorns in cages so that they can sell their horns as morning after pills for rich fricks. But their boss is a lesbian, so I guess they're woke now. I'd like to announce a new Mr. Against Weed. His name is Mr. Pinkwashing, and his power is to make corporations stop pretending that they give a crap about the gays. Coming soon to a pride parade near you. Jude K2. Hey there. Just a quick reminder that Little Misters is the intellectual property of Dr. Van der Tien. Any attempts to create an infringing product will be met with legal action. Have a wonderful day! Happy Pride! Marshall Carter and Dark is showing our support for the LGBT community by donating a portion of all profits this month to the Human Rights Campaign to support their efforts to pass the Equality Act and ensure equal rights for all. In honor of Pride Month, all factory overseer drones will be equipped with rainbow body armor and truncheons this month. Market research suggests that you will find this soothing. Buy our products. Support the factory. Support the LGBT. I hope everyone retweeting this doesn't know what the factory actually is. It isn't joking about the Overseer drones. This isn't a funny parody account. It's a malevolent extra dimensional parasite, and y'all should stop giving it a platform. Anderson Robotics is proud to be a sponsor of the Three Portland's Pride Parade. Keep an eye out for our float, which will be escorted by Kestrel Series domestic utility units painted in all the colors of the rainbow. Oh sure, when the police want to march in the parade, everyone says that the first Pride was a riot. But when I want to loot an electronics store, everyone conveniently forgets. Double standards much? For Pride Month, Dr. Vandertainment is releasing a new line of Rainbowlicious Bubble Bath Bonbons. Show your true colors with a rainbow of fun-filled foam. They'll be available by special order from MCND, but only as long as supplies last, so act fast. Happy Pride Month from the UIU. This month, the UIU celebrates the diversity of our workforce and recognizes the contributions our LGBT colleagues made in their service to the country and the unit. Will FA, FBI are all busy Mar Singh in Hate Purdy Parade. It'll be Dwan Load Dwan Loading. Seven Terebti Soft Illi Illi Agul Cognot Hazard on the, the library computer, computers. If Tay come to stop me, Tay lows their queer street red and have to statter over Frommel evil evil one. Al Al Ally Minius. Yeah. Iris Dark donated over six million pounds to homophobic MPs because she knew that a Tory government would give her a tax cut. She deliberately removed coverage for transgender health care from her employees' benefit packages because it would save her money. Happy Pride Month. 
Unfortunately, my account seems to have been hacked. I did not post this message and I am unable to take it down. I am currently working with Void Support to resolve this issue. Ugh. Whoever hacked Iris Dark's account should feel ashamed of themselves. She is an inspiration and a role model, and this kind of petty slander is just embarrassing. Hey, 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 Joyce Rand. Be gone, liberal. Marshall, Carter, and Dark have possibly the worst human rights record of any corporation, anomalous or not. We are going to go through this in no particular order because, man, does MCND have a lot of crimes to answer for. Let's do this. Listen, if I was going to make a new Mr. Against Weed, I wouldn't have posted about it beforehand. I practice better security culture than that. You can all stop adding me now. Not to mention the sexual harassment many former MCND employees have reported at the hands of both their superiors and their clients. And that's not even considering how MCND treats sex workers in their employ. Google COINTELPRO. Or for that matter, just check out the FBI files on it. This isn't explicitly about gay rights, but it's not like everyone they murdered was straight, you know? The immortal souls of innumerable queer men and trans women who died of AIDS-related complications siphoned through an effigy located in their New York headquarters, which has since been relocated to an undisclosed location in Sub-Saharan Africa. Yo, the Pride Hacker is in meat space now. That big Rainbow Anderson ad on Milkbox Boulevard now says Office Culture Anderson Robotics is intensely transphobic and the upper management turned a blind eye so they don't have to fire their best engineers. It's true! I was fired by Anderson for reporting transphobic comments my boss made after I came out at work. No trans person has lasted more than six months on the R&D side. And that's all just since World War II, so yeah. If anyone shouldn't be allowed to pinkwash themselves, it's Marshall, Carter, and Dark. Happy Pride Month. The Pride Hacker is a hero. We just need them to move off Void and onto Twitter. Mundane corporations need to be exposed too. Hey, hey Elven Drag Queen. Whoops.